The second generation of the Universal Freeside Pusher is a rather unique device we know other like it ever made. Due to this, some steps described in the instruction manual can be a little difficult to understand. This video is a visual representation of the manual where we are going to explain how to use this tool. We highly recommend having this manual at hand for your reference during this video. The tool is composed of the following components. The plate, plate with nuts, which also features the quick reference. The pushing heads, we have the universal, which is for most sides. The Glock standard, which is for most Glocks, and the Glock 4243s, and a specific design. The guiding plate, the drift screw, this part we are going to refer it as the drift screw tip. And we also have two tightening screws. The tool assembly is done as follows. We first take the drift screw and screw the part into the guiding plate through the center nut. We do this until the tip clears the plate. Now we take the pushing head that most sweets are needs and we are going to insert it in the tip. We have to be very careful as to fully seat this part, otherwise when we thread the guiding plate, the guiding plate in, instead of engaging the reduced diameter area, this part is going to sit on top of the tip of the drift screw and when trying to move aside, this part is going to try to overcome the legs and it will damage them or even break them. So, we take the part, insert it fully in, we use our thumb to secure the, the component and we thread the guiding plate opposite the flat side. Just like that. If everything is okay, these parts rotate freely and also they are engaged, they don't fall off. Now we just take the tightening screw and thread it through the guiding plate to the plate with nuts and we just take the other tightening screw and screw it also in the plate with nuts. Final step is to pull the drift screw out until the plate touches the plate with nuts and the tool is ready to be used. To disassemble the tool, we just screw as much as to clear the plate and just remove all the components in reverse order. Before using this tool, there are some things that have to be taken in consideration. The first of them is that this tool is for site adjustments only. It can do site removals or installations. Also, despite this tool is being very strong, it's not designed as to be ha handled with wrenches of, or pliers. It can move very tight sides, but if you really feel that to move a site you have to wrench uh, this tool or use pliers, then it's best to take that gun to a gunsmith because it is probably the site sized sized in in place due to rust or even it is uh, just pressed in in the factory. So another thing is that this tool has to be prepared before the use. So if you can use your favorite oil to lube the uh, drift screw and the tip as to reduce wear. Also. It's very important to place a lubrication on the dovetail of the site that you want to move to ease the job. Also, before heading to the range, uh, it is uh, highly recommended that you try this tool at home with your guns as to don't find unexpected problems uh, after the trip to the range. Rear site adjustments are done as follows. We face we first take a gun, we make sure that it is empty, we take an empty magazine and insert it in place. Now the slide won't go forward. We have to know uh, which side the tool must be assembled. Um, we can see in the quick reference, if we need to move these shots to the right, we must push on the left side, on the rear side and vice versa. So in this case, we are going to push uh, 
this side to the right. We are going to put some layers, uh, we are going to put masking tape as to avoid uh, marring the, the slide and also we are going to put a little bit of masking tape where the tool is going to push the side. One mention, if the size, sides of the slide have steps, this can be filled in with several layers of folded over masking tape. However, if the sides of the slide are tapered or slanted, then the tool can be assembled because when trying to move uh, the side or when trying to move the, doing the adjustment, it will just uh, twist to one side and to the other. So, as to place the tool to the, to the slide, we can do it in several ways. Um, the most easiest one is to use a range bar like this one and stick the gun in a pocket like this so we can go ahead and slide the tool in. Another option, if you don't have a range bar, is to take a gun case and use it to secure the gun in place to do the assembly. But for demonstration, we are going to do it just by hand. So we take one hand, secure the gun, and with the other hand, we pinch the tool with our fingers. We go ahead and slide it from the back and we orient it more or less. We make sure uh, to situate it uh, so the pushing head pushes the rear side in the certainmost position, lowest in the dovetail, and then with our fingers we pinch to make sure that the tool sits flat against the side of the slide. We tighten the tool, but we are, not, we are careful not to overdo this because uh, we can damage the, the slide. And if everything is okay, we start moving the rear side. On purpose, we are going to move it far more than strictly needed. If we find ourselves that the guiding plate uh, gets snagged with the top tightening screw, we can use the tab has to disengage it and we just continue moving the side. So what we can do if the side we need moving is to wait to one side that uh, we just uh, can use the pushing head because it doesn't fit. Well, the best option is to make yourself or find a, a spacer so uh, we can make enough room as to be able to move the side. This is a 1911 tool, so very common, very easy to find. Uh, we can make ourselves a spacer from other materials, for example, a sheet of wood or uh, several layers of thick, uh, a very stiff cardboard. But there is a field expedient method as to be able to move the rear side. So what we are going to do is put much more masking tape than usual and we are going to assemble the tool without the pushing head, just the, the drift screw. We are going to assemble it and we are going to use the tip of the drift screw as to guide where the tool should be positioned. We are going to be situating the tool about one sixteenth of an inch from the bottom and we just tighten it up we make sure everything is okay we again 
do the final tightening. And we are going to use the top tab of the guiding plate. And we are going to situate it so it is just on front of the tip of the drift screw. And now we just push in and move this side enough as to we can now insert the uh, pushing head. One final consideration if you have just reverse sides, if your side has a fixed sending screw, don't forget to tighten it up. For front side adjustments, first, uh, handguns uh, have a lot of variation uh, in the front. So a specific procedure to do the adjustment can be provided. However, there are some general rules. First, if you have a step which is very common, uh, you can fill it in with uh, several layers of folded over masking tape. Another, the tool, uh, for example here, it cannot sit uh, flat to do the adjustment. So we will have to be assembling it at an angle. Other guns do have uh, this portion flat enough as to the tool to sit, but the recoil lock is too big, so it will interfere with the bottom, the bottom tightening screw. It will interfere, so the assembly will be in an angle forwards. Also, when pushing the side, if possible, it is best to push on the blade because it will, that will be giving the most surface. Uh, to the pushing head to sit to. In this case, since the base uh, has some slants and another sort of uh, uh, features, we are going to be pushing just uh, there in the in the bottom. So we place our masking tape and we assemble our tool again. Of course. Uh, to do a front adju adjustment, the handgun has to be disassembled from the gun. If you need to do an adjustment, usually the, um, it, it works just the opposite uh, from the rear side. So if you need to move the point on if pack to the right, in the rear side you push on the left side, but on the front side you push on the right side. So we assemble the tool. We will make sure that we are going to be pushing on the lowest part and right in the middle. We tighten everything up and we just make the adjustment. We hope that this video has been helpful to you. If so, please give us a like. If not, feel free to leave us a comment telling us why. Thanks for watching and keep your eyes straight.